Let me uh, let me do an around the horn. Okay. I will give okay. you the topic, <laughs> All right. and then the Danettes will give you their answer. And I will score. Now, how long are they allowed to talk? Well, um, typically we say about 15 to 20. I'm going to give you guys 10 seconds, because I believe we're dealing with a higher caliber of competitive banterer. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Best-looking quarterback in New England. <laughs> That's a good question. That might be buy or sell one and around the horn today. Okay. Uh <laughs> Paulie? All right, let's go around the horn. Paulie. Okay. I'm ready to go. Present tense question. You notice the question isn't in the past. It's in present tense. Mm, yes. And we're not talking about ability, legacy, history. Just looks. It's Jimmy Garoppolo. Mm -hmm. Done. Because mm -hmm. you had to qualify it with an enormous. <laughs> pre the preamble was longer than our own uh, government's based on. Go ahead. Oh, we got McLovin. Let's hit it. Come on. Okay. Jimmy G has that whole sexy pirate thing going on. I get it. But Tom Brady's a classic. I think we just got bored of how good looking he was. But I've been flipping through the Met Ball pictures. He's an all-timer. The eyes as blue as ever. Tom Brady. Mm, ding, ding, ding. All right. Let's go, Fritzy. Jimmy Garoppolo, Tom Brady, overrated. We get all caught up that he's got the Giselle supermodel lifestyle and wife. And overrated, the Super Bowls. over cliche. Ding, ding, oh, ding. Wow. Pop, pop, oh, oh, man. Man. All right, come Damn. on. Say the second. Listen, second. Seaton? winning looks good, doesn't it? If there's only one man in New England I want to see standing shirtless under a waterfall, and it's Tom Brady. <laughs> you, you forgot one thing. Play to your host. Garoppolo. Italian oh. heat. Oh. Italian heat. See, if you would have known where his ancestry was from, right. then you play. It does not, does you, that you, not convey you, in a normal way? Should I, should I play that up a little bit more? The coolest <laughs> player in the NBA. <laughs> okay. I, let's uh, go around the horn. Scene, let's go back the other way. Come on. Oh, John Wall. Absolutely cool, dude. He's all tatted out. Dougie, enough said. All tatted out? We're giving credit for all tatted out? That's everybody in the league. Go ahead, wow. Fritzy. Draymond Green, always <laughs> smiling. has got a little bit of an edge to him. Isn't afraid to break somebody's shoulder. So if it's he has cool to, to, to need people in the gonads? <laughs> go ahead, McLovin. I'm going to go with JaVale McGee. Can anyone else rock a headband like JaVale McGee? Oh, and Paul is now, now I've, I've seen this face before. Somebody said exactly what you're about to say on a round. How is that possible? Look completely. All right, Paul. Okay, let's see you vamp. I'm going to go with JaVale McGee. Here's why. Because I don't know what's going to happen when he steps on the court. He's going to dunk on your basket, on our basket, on their basket. <laughs> Something great's going to happen. Ding, ding, ding. I'll Plus, give you points for that. you got to love his McGee. mom, Pam McGee. Yes, yeah, Pam McGee gets credit, too. One other I throw out there just to wrap up here because we were talking about the best duos in NBA history this week with uh, with Duran and Curry. Uh, Deion Waiters and anyone on a 10-game contract. Best duo in NBA history. <laughs> All right. Best hair in sports media history. I'm not allowed to be in this. Oh, no, I can't. Uh. I have to exclude myself here. So we'll go around the horn, Paulie. Mel Kuyper Jr. It's a legend from day ding, one of the ding, draft ding, to today at the draft. Ding, 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 it's, ding, a, ding, it's like the ding, Mount Rushmore ding, of ding, hair. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, man. <laughs> ding, ding. McLovin? <laughs> I'm going to go with Michelle Beadle. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ding, Michelle, ding, if you're watching, I love hi. Michelle. I love Michelle, and honestly, I, I feel like if she was on Around the Horn, everyone, uh, a show of Michelle Beadle would be like a run-and-hide situation for every other <laughs> panelist that day. So I'll give you a ding-ding. Fritzy. I am not ashamed to admit a man crush on Jim Palmer back in the day in ABC. Yeah. Oh. Great hair, oh. underwear. Oh, no, there was hair. There wasn't just hair on the head, right? I mean, I mean we've Everywhere. seen, we've seen the, <laughs> yeah, chest. Yeah. Sexy I mean, man. That, that, was, chest that, was, that was burlap on the... Uh, <laughs> okay, let's go. Great hair, yeah, underwear. Because, because I didn't say... Just head on, you know, hair right. on head. No, no, so hair in right. general. That's right. Yeah. That's absolutely uh, right. Seton O'Connor. I think probably the most underappreciated head of hair in sports media history, Seton Hall guy, won the general, Robert Aloysius Lee. Guys oh, had the exact... Bob Lee. Absolutely. Bob Lee. Bob Lee. The guy's got a solid head of hair and nobody talks that about it. That is a hair part you could set your watch to. Hasn't but, moved in 40 years. But he does, it, he straps that on in the morning. I mean, that's just a piece that he puts oh, on. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I've seen him put it on. It looks damn good. I was going to go John Clayton with the ponytail. Mm. Oh, that's the winner. That's the winner. Johnny, Absolutely. Johnny that was Good a great Time. sweet he had going out, John, going out that Johnny, I'm keeping the ponytail. Johnny Good Time. Yeah. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.